During the last four years, um, going through generational and succession planning and, and having a lot of support from the U of L Family Business Center um, and different mentors, um, we've grown dramatically. And with that growth, uh, it's been very important for us to make sure that we had a, a, a stable, coherent, smart, innovative, and creative infrastructure to be able to handle that. Um, so we've had to do a lot of hiring and it's, it's always fun and exciting to bring people from all over the community to come and, and work within our uh, family business and, and really latch on to our values and, and, our, um, and our culture. So it's, it's, been a, it's been a wonderful ride growing as much as we have and, and we really look forward to just growing some more. Under his leadership, we have grown. Original owners develop a company usually to a point. And with his, his, first of all, his intellect and intelligence and being an engineer, um, he's able to implement changes technologically and organizationally and develop a team. I think what he has really done um, is built the infrastructure, which has allowed our growth and our expansion. It takes a certain type of leadership style in order to respond properly during these changes. His style is one where he looks to understand what it is the customer is doing and what they want to do, and he's trying to stay ahead of that technological change so that we can respond in a timely fashion. Being a family business leader means that you have to be a part of, of the community, it means that you have to be a part of the family, that you have to be a part of the business, so it means that you are combining a lot of efforts as an individual to bring uh, things together uh, for the business.